Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, if you're looking for one fighter in an alley to save your life, you could probably do worse than this man as we welcome back the UFC middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. A lot of people think his ceiling is championship and that eventually this man will be the undisputed UFC middleweight title holder. Seems to be a great stylistic matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak off the charts. And tonight, trying to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned and true one of, if not the best middleweight team. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, he's loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. It's who is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 9 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paulo the Eraser Costa! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Straight right, he misses. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, big punch land. 
So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the trainer. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off right. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Very tricky to throw that body kick. So 28 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. Big punch land for the middle. Oh, nice elbow. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. if he can finish. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh! Just missed with the left there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Under two minutes to go. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Costa. Shot to the body is blocked. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Just out of range with that right hook. Wow. Big kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down and... Nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Watch the shot. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee, so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one in the dressing room after the fight. No, John. <laughs> John, John, listen. No, John. No. <laughs> Don't throw a flying knee. Okay. Tell the masses how, how good that feels. Oh! 
What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to strike. Go finish his fight. Oh, big left. Serve him up. Go get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Attacking the body now. That shot blocked. Oh, big left hook there. Slips the shot. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly good. Wow. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, what a punch. Kick to the body by Costa. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big left hook coming, it's good. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to <laughs> right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Just a slip there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice defense there. Huge block. Got clip with the right hand. Head off the center line, slips the punch. One, two there by Costa. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Punch coming, it's blocked. Good stick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands. It hurts. Straight to the body by Costa. Oh, nice. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. You Whoa! see an error. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, hands. he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh! So far. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward.
I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Costa. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice kick. Nice leg kick land. Able to check the high kick. A face strike really there. Bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Costa gets touched by that kick there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Nice one two there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Ooh, what a head kick. Wow. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, oh, Rosa, oh, oh. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Costa. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fan. Oh, huge right hand. This is such a crazy fight. Big kick land. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there. Gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, He's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. It's over! It's over! <laughs>
Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of the third round. To find the winner by tap out, Paolo the Eraser! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.